Hi, I'm Lisa Curcio and welcome back to Lisa's Stamp Studio. This is week nine in my series on card layouts where I'm giving you ideas on where to place the elements for your handmade greeting cards. This is the card we're going to be creating together today. You can see the layout with the panels here at the bottom. I'm going to demonstrate this card, but I have two other samples that I'll be sharing with you during today's video. If this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel, I would love to encourage you to subscribe. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and right next to it, you'll find a bell icon. If you click that, you'll receive notifications when I'm live here on YouTube, as well as when I upload a new video. Let's head over to the stamp table and let's get started on today's card. Here's a close up of the card we're going to be creating together today. Isn't that designer series paper beautiful? It's called See a Silhouette and you'll find it here on page 166 of the Stampin' Up! Annual Catalog. These bold color washed silhouettes have the look of pigment sprinkles. They're going to make great backgrounds and like most of the Stampin' Up! Designer Series papers, they are double sided. Believe it or not, this is the exact same paper, just the reverse side. If you don't already have a Stampin' Up! Demonstrator and you're interested in receiving a complimentary copy of the catalog, head over to lisastampstudio.com and click on Contact Me. We'll start with a base of Knight of Navy cardstock. This measures five and a half by eight and a half. If you're here visiting from YouTube, I'll have all the cutting dimensions down in the video description below. I did score it right before you joined me and I'm gonna use that bone folder for that crisp edge here. We're gonna place the greeting here at the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my stamping first because then I'm gonna be doing some embossing to texturize the top portion. I'm gonna be using the Knight of Navy ink. Now this is the beauty of Stampin' Up! products is the color coordination. So our ink pads and markers and accessories all coordinate with our cardstock. I'm gonna ink up the image that says, set sail in the direction of your dreams. I thought that went beautifully with that designer series paper. And that's from the Sailing Home stamp set. Lots of great nautical images in here are going to make beautiful sailing cards or masculine cards. I'm inking that image up and I'll stamp it here off to the right side. I'm going to be using the High Seas 3D embossing folder. I'm going to place my cardstock inside. I have my die cutting machine here which will allow me to emboss. Because of the thickness of this embossing folder, and I'm going to use the brand new 3D embossing plate. That's going to go over the top and that's going to replace both of the small thinner plates that would typically go on the bottom. And then I'll crank that through. And then once I remove it, you'll be able to see the impressions here. Really important that you stamp first before you emboss. I'm going to use my silicone craft sheet to help me apply adhesive to the back side of that layer. I love the silicone craft sheet because adhesive, liquid glue, and hot glue will not stick to it. It simply rubs right off, which is going to keep my work surface nice and clean. This is going to go up here near the top portion. I'm looking to leave as much equal space on the top and the two sides as possible, and I'll press that in place. I've got my four panels of designer series paper here. and As I mentioned to you, they are double-sided, which is what's going to give us those two different patterns. I'm going to flip the first one over and using my silicone craft sheet again, because this is a very narrow area, I'm going to place adhesive on the back side. Now the easiest way to do this for me is to turn the card horizontal because I'm going to take this end of my designer paper and I'm going to butt it right up against the end here of this cardstock. I'm looking to align this edge as closely as possible and as straight as possible and then I'll tack that in place. I'll do that exact same thing now, alternating the next panel. So put adhesive on the opposite side, and then once again, holding the paper horizontally, I'm gonna butt this right up against the top, aligning it right along the side of the first panel, and I'll tack that in place. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing now with these other two panels. To finish off my card, I'm gonna use the Sail Away Trinkets. There are both ship wheels and anchors inside, they're nice and thin, so they won't add any additional postage to your card. And I found the easiest way to attach them for me is with glue dots. So I'm gonna pick up my anchor. I'm gonna press it here on one side and another glue dot on the other side. And then I'm gonna tack that here off to the bottom left side of my grating. Very, very simple. But I've got two other cards for you using this exact same card layout. This one uses the stamp set called To a Wild Rose for the greeting. And you're gonna see that I use the designer series paper in the Grapefruit Grove color. This time I cut my card the long way so that I could wrap the white flax ribbon around it. My last sample is stamped with the words called Here's a Card. Now I don't know if you can tell or not, but half of the greeting is stamped in one color and the other half in another color 
to be reminiscent of the two papers here. Now these foil papers are beautiful, aren't they? I wanna take a second and show you how I did this. I've got my birthday greeting here, Pretty Peacock ink, and I also have Blueberry Bushel. When you do this half and half type stamping, which is what I'm calling this, you're gonna to wanna to start with the lightest color first. In this case, it's gonna be the Pretty Peacock. And I'm just gonna tap my stamp on here so I've got half of it inked. I'm gonna switch over now to the other half and I'll tap. If there's any overlapping, it's not gonna be noticeable simply because the darker shade is gonna be prominent. And there we go, we have the two-tone stamping. Isn't that fun? Keep in mind that if you're gonna use two light colored ink pads, you're gonna to wanna to be careful so that you don't muddy the two colors together. This works great with darker shades. I would love to know which of these three cards is your favorite. Leave me a comment below. And if you've enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up here on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day.